Say good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Nora and I just dropped Lila off at school. We're getting coffee and breakfast going, and I got a lot to catch you up on. Let's make coffee. Bring it this way. Coffee, coffee time. Thank you. An old school basic. I love this coffee. I've always struggled with like, what is the perfect ratio of tablespoons of grounds to water? I'm only brewing four cups it's to the four line. My water was um, because I usually only drink. I really only drink one cup a day. So, um, but what I have tried out and I researched, you take however many cups you're brewing. So if it's four, it'd be two. If it's eight, it'd be four. You do that many tablespoons of grounds, but then plus one more extra. So if I'm doing four cups of water, I just did two tablespoons of grounds, which is half as much. And then we're doing one bonus. And I brewed this the other day and it was just like perfection. And in the two seconds I was talking to you guys and brewing coffee, Nora pulled all of the paper towels out of the cabinet and ripped them open. Thank you, Nora. You mean a stinker. <laughs> These are some banana oat chocolate chip muffins that I made for the week for snacks and breakfast for me and the girls. I'm gonna have three of these mini muffins for breakfast today. Do you have a muffin too? No. Do you got a muffin? No. Show me. Oh, thank you. Breakfast slash morning snack, I don't know. I already also had a protein shake, a premier protein shake in peanut butter flavor for two points and some strawberries this morning for zero points. These are a little bit supercharged. They have the Trader Joe's ancient grains and oats blend in them. So there's chia seed and flax seed and all sorts of good stuff in there, some good fiber. It's just been real crazy and real busy. So I've been doing almost like little mini meals throughout the day and then a bigger dinner. That's how I've been eating lately. I don't know. So anyway, time for coffee and muffins. Any of my 90s kids recognize that pattern? My sister sent me this sweet mug when she went to visit the American Girl store in Chicago. Um, I had Samantha growing up. She was one of my favorite doll toys to play with. Um, she had, I think Kirsten was her name. So she got her pattern. So we both have American Girl mugs now. So sweet. A little present sent from Aunt Meg. I'm just going to use regular coffee in it today. I've really been into just a nice regular hot coffee and this flavored coffee again, it tastes so good. I do still like a splash of creamer. I still have some of my Chobani pumpkin spice. I'm going to add like the tiniest splash, probably about three points worth. So yes, I said I only drink one cup of coffee usually, but my cup is this giant tumbler. So <laughs> anyway, that's my breakfast. I already ate a muffin. Good morning, guys. We are on our hot girl walk, me and Nora. Um, it is so nice out today. We've had a warm front through here the last few days and it's like our high has been almost 80 degrees and sunny. Although of course it'll be 50s and raining by this weekend here in Georgia. But we're just taking our walk and enjoying all the beautiful, fall leaves. It's my favorite time of year here. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but things have been very stressful and crazy here at our house. I'll share more about that when I'm not pushing a stroller later today. Um, I am going to share with you guys what I eat today. I am trying my best to get back on track uh, during this stressful time. I have not been doing my best being on plan with WW and following everything. Um, I've been doing pretty good with getting still my walks in every day. That's been a great stress relief. Sorry if it's loud. So many cars pulling through our neighborhood right now but yeah I always feel like filming like a what I eat in a video or a little daily vlog sharing with you guys what I'm eating helps me to stay on track and kind of get back in the swing of things I'm at that point where you know I haven't been great at being on track for kind of like the last like four weeks and it's definitely taken a toll on the scale and I'm at that pivotal point where like this could be a little break and a little slide or it could very easily with the holidays approaching turn into a big slide and weight gain so I definitely don't want that I don't want to be going backwards we want to be going forwards all journeys have pauses and ups and downs. This has been a bit of a down, but we're getting back on track and we're gonna like maintain and keep going. I right, am like struggling. We have our umbrella stroller instead of our big stroller, Ooh, which is very hard to push one-handed and film. 
Anyway, we're out getting our walk. Um, I'm gonna take Nora over to the park. We're gonna go play for a while. And then when I eat lunch um, a little bit later, I'll sit down and we'll do a lunch with Lauren, a little chat about what's going on and all the big changes happening with us at home and our family right now. Are you crunching in the leaves? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Nora, where are you? <gasps> Peekaboo. <gasps> Look, Baba. What are those? Bubbles? Bubbles? You want more bubbles? Bubbles! Go, go! Go, bubbles! The bubbles! Go, go! Bubbles! Bubbles are life. There you go. Need some stress relief in your life? Just grab some bubbles. And a cute baby helps too. Come on, Bubba, let's go play. Well, I just started getting everything together to throw into the crock pot for a dinner I'm making tonight. I almost forgot to start filming. So in here in the crock pot, I already have two chicken breasts as well as two cups of some reduced sodium chicken broth. I'm going to toss in a can of petite diced tomatoes drained a can of rinsed and drained cannellini beans, a can of corn drained, and then um, we like a little spice in ours, so I'm gonna put some of these chopped green chilies in. And then I haven't chopped them up yet, but I am going to go ahead and chop up some onion and I have some minced garlic. That's gonna go in here as well. This is gonna cook on low for six to eight hours until your chicken is shreddable and cooked all the way through. And then about an hour before serving, I'm gonna add some um, third less fat cream cheese as well as some cheddar cheese to dress it on top. Super simple meal. It's gonna make multiple servings so I can have it for lunches throughout the week. Oh, and of course, just seasonings, whatever floats your boat. I got some Kinder salt, pepper, and garlic, the blend seasoning here. You could add chili lime seasoning to this, some chili seasoning. I don't really know which direction I'm going yet, so let's just get it together. had this half a green bell pepper and half red onion left over from another recipe the other day. Um, actually, I think I chopped some of this up for a salad. So I'm just gonna use up the rest of this and toss it in the crock pot. Green bell pepper going straight in. I am going to go ahead and saute the onion a little bit just cause I feel like whenever I don't um, saute or do a quick cook on the onions before I add them to my crock pot, like it totally takes over the whole flavor of the dish and it's way too oniony. So that's a step, your choice, however your crock pot does. I always feel like my whole dish ends up too oniony, so I'm gonna saute these first and then toss them in along with some minced garlic. But I feel like chili soups, they're the epitome, let's clean out the fridge at the end of the week kind of meals. And you can just use whatever you got. Leftover veggies, leftover meats or canned items you want to get rid of out of the pantry. Garlic above. All right, there it is. Just giving a quick little stir. All those spices and everything kind of mixed together. The chicken is still mostly stuck underneath at the bottom. Yep, and again, this is just going low and slow, six to eight hours. So lid on and we'll see you later for dinner with that. Keeping lunch super simple today. I have a turkey sandwich with some of the Sargento ultra thin provolone slices. Which the ultra thin means you can use two slices and it's only like three points versus a standard slice of provolone cheese. It's usually like five points for just one thicker slice. Um, this is the oven gold turkey from Boar's Head, which is zero points for two ounces. I have lettuce, a little bit of light mayo, 
And then I did use like the regular Sara Lee Artisano style bakery bread. This is a little hefty. Two pieces is going to come in at seven points just in the bread. But you know what? We're using what we have. We're keeping it simple as we get back on track. And as long as you just account for it in your day and put the points in for it, balance elsewhere. Sometimes doing simple meals like this in the middle of the day is just easier. And it's going to help me get back on track. I have some zero point grapes and then a four point serving of some tortilla chips. I mean, I have a Diet Dr. Pepper with it. I was definitely hungry and ready for some real food today. I just really had the super quick like protein shake and some fruit this morning before the school run. And then when I got back, I just had coffee and some of those banana chocolate chip muffins. So after the walk this morning and playtime with Nora at the park, she's down napping. She also had some turkey and cheese and grapes for lunch today before I put her down for her nap. I also got dinner started in the crock pot. We're doing a white chicken chili, so yummy. Um, so that'll be a nice hearty, but low point dinner. So I definitely had the points I could use for this like kind of basic sandwich. I just find familiar and easy meals really help me get back in the swing of things when I've been off track for a while. And you know you've been off track for a while when I opened the WW app this morning to start putting stuff in and it was like, welcome back. And I was like, oh, yes, welcome back. It's been a hot second since I tracked anything. And speaking of which, um, the reason why I've just been kind of off track, I just needed to take a breather, a step back from worrying about meals and meal planning and tracking my points. And it, it just was one of those times in life where I needed to prioritize my family, my kids, their schedules, our house, because a little over a month ago, my husband got a new job. And we're really excited for it. It's going to be no more traveling for him. It's going to be a lot less late night hours, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know my husband in the last year has just been traveling and working late hours a lot. And it's been me alone with the kids. They've missed him. I've missed him dearly, but he got a new job. We're really excited about it. But along with that, we have a big move coming up. We are no longer going to be staying living in Georgia. We've been here for the last almost five years. We moved here for Josh's job um, when Lila had just turned one. We've had multiple small local moves in between there. I am so sick of moving you guys. This is Josh and I's ninth move since we've been together in the last 10 years. A lot of that has been for work or just moving into a bigger place as our family grew or in the case of the last year, you all know the craziness with the rental and housing market, just prices booming. We moved to a house that was more affordable. We found a great house. I'll wait and do a big reveal of where we're moving as we get a little closer. Josh has actually already been there for the last two weeks working. My mom is coming this weekend, which we're excited to have Gigi here with us helping with the kids as I start packing the house. And then Josh will be flying back here and helping us get out there and the full family will be moving around the time of Thanksgiving. So I've been solo momming for the last two and a half weeks. We had one weekend where we did fly out to the location to do some house hunting and it's just been a lot on my plate. And so that's why things have been a little crazy. I've been trying to put a lot of focus on the kids, make sure they were comfortable and understood the transition. I mean, little Nora doesn't really get what's going on. Lila though, who's almost six years old, definitely does. She just started kindergarten this year. She has a class and friends that she loves. So it's, we've been trying to slowly introduce the idea of moving and what that's going to entail and getting her comfortable and on board with everything. So that's just been my priority. So I'm sorry there hasn't been as many YouTube videos out the last few weeks. This is probably the first one I've posted in almost a month. I actually did film like two other videos, but as I sat down to edit them, I could tell watching myself in the videos, my heart wasn't in it and it just felt like I was doing them just to do them and I didn't want to give you guys subpar content and it just, they didn't work. So I feel though like the light is at the end of the tunnel. We got a bunch of details about our move worked out. Now after last weekend, we have a house we're moving to. So that's a lot of stress off our plate. But sometimes things in life that are big like this require more of your attention and you got to back off in other areas. Now that we are feeling secure about that, you know, I'm sure the next couple weeks are still going to be a little iffy on my schedule. I'm hoping we settle in quickly though the week of Thanksgiving and after that I can get back to regular content because not only do I enjoy making it and having this community here on YouTube, but it keeps me motivated in my journey and that's definitely still a priority to me. 
And I feel like it's time that I really need to get back to it because I always feel like if I go longer than like a month with slipping and not tracking for myself, it becomes a quick downhill run where all of a sudden it's like, oh, I gained two pounds and oh, I gained another pound or another couple pounds. And all of a sudden I'm up five, eight pounds. And from there it can just grow exponentially. If I don't watch what I'm doing, I don't get back on track because when stress hits me, that is definitely an area I have in the past found comfort was just eating and also an area where like when I need more attention in one area of my life, it's just like, oh, it's whatever for dinner. I won't, you know, what do we need to use up in the house before our move? Let's just make it. And I'm not thinking about how it works into my day and I find comfort in food and I still do. And that's something that I will probably always work through. I am up um, about eight pounds since my weigh-in in September. So I've backtracked. I'm right around the same weight I was when I kind of restarted everything January 1st, which is a major bummer. But, you know, this is going to be good for our family. You know, it's hard in this current time of the transition of moving. But instead of a two-hour commute each way, Josh is going to have more like a 25, 30-minute commute, which is awesome. He'll be home more. He can help me with the kids more. And I can get better balance back in my life. Maybe get some time now that I can actually join a gym again and start working out, which I miss. So a lot of ups and downs the last few weeks. So thanks for sticking with me to everyone who reached out saying, I hope you're okay. Yes, we are. I'm sorry. I should have given like an update, but I've also been trying to keep things under wraps. So I'm sorry I didn't share too much. We were just being, you know, cautious with the announcement of information. I didn't want to tell people too soon as we were in the process. And um, I'm sure I'll take you guys with you and share the big surprise about where we're moving to as we get to that date. But for now, I'm just trying to balance the stress and craziness. I can't wait for my mama to be here to help out with the girls and give them some good attention while I put attention towards our house and packing so thankful we're having professional movers this time around this is actually our first time in our last nine moves that we aren't doing everything ourselves, and that's really nice but yeah that's kind of the tea of what's been going on we're moving and it's just been nuts and I've been alone with the kids and I've been trying to give my attention everywhere at once so thank you guys for being there for me and I'm excited to keep going with y'all and showing you stuff but yep I'm just like everyone else we had a crazy time I got off track but now Time to get back on. And I definitely feel like this is a pivotal time for getting back on track because I can very easily get off track and stay off track the next two months with the holidays coming up. It is like imperative for me to not totally backslide, to stay on top of myself day to day, and then just to have those special days where I don't track like actual Thanksgiving day, Christmas Eve, Christmas day, but I feel like I can always do that in the past few years. I've maintained my weight loss or lost weight those months still, even during the holidays, if I keep on track every other day. So that being said, I'm gonna eat this delicious sandwich and uh, get some stuff done around the house. So I'll check in a little bit later, either with snack or dinner. We'll see how that chili gets going as it cooks throughout the day. I'll keep you guys updated on the next steps for it. I checked my chili after about seven hours cooking on low in the crock pot and my chicken was cooked through and ready, so I pulled it out and went ahead and shredded it all up. You can see all those spices and flavors really permeated right into the chicken. It's gonna be so flavorful. Once it's shredded, I popped it back in the pot, and I also cubed up half a block of third less fat cream cheese, put that in and gave it a good stir as well. We're gonna cover it and let it finish cooking for one more hour. All right, and just like an hour later, it's all melted in there. Creamy and delicious. This was zero points before I added in the third less fat cream cheese. So it ends up being still a really super low point dish. It's hearty and tasty, savory. You could put whatever you wanted in here. It's got lots of great protein from the chicken and the beans. You could add other beans like black beans, other vegetables. I know a white chicken chili doesn't typically do tomatoes, hence the white part. I guess we'll call mine a rosé chicken chili. I just like tomatoes in it. I added just two tablespoons of some shredded sharp cheddar cheese on top, as well as a hearty dollop of some plain nut fat Greek yogurt, which I use in place of like a sour cream. It's very neutral in flavor. It's the perfect low point, low calorie, high protein kind of dish. That's perfect to help me get back on track. It's great in those cold winter months or great, especially right now, all of a sudden this afternoon, a cold started hitting me and I'm feeling a little under the weather. I did just take a little bit of emergency, but hopefully that'll help me get over whatever this is coming on quickly and I don't really get hit too much because I have a lot of packing to do for moving next week. But a nice hearty warm bowl of soup or chili or stew sounded perfect. 
That being said, I had room for more points today if I wanted them. I was thinking maybe I'd have some popcorn and watch a movie tonight. But to be honest, I know it's only eight o'clock. I got the kids down for bed. I'm exhausted. So I think I'm gonna have my chili and then maybe go take a bath, enjoy the steam a little bit and then head off to bed. So not a terribly thrilling or unique day of eating, but it's what I need to get back on track. It works for my lifestyle right now, trying to use up what we have at home in our fridge and pantry before we move. We're just making it work and uh, going day to day with this journey. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next video. Thanks so much for hanging with me. I know it's been sporadic, but we're getting back on track. I'm sure I'll share not only back on track videos and WW videos, but also some fun holiday videos. And until next time, bye. I, I always do.